Hi friends, uh, the second video of the day. I just met my friend uh, after maybe after 10 to 12 years. He's my schoolmate, and uh, he wanted me to come to his house because uh, his father-in-law was uh, doing some work. He didn't tell me what it was, uh, but if somebody invites me, you can guess uh, why they have uh, invited me. So, just want to show you uh, how well uh, uh, his father-in-law who's uh, probably above 70 and how well he's uh, maintaining the garden and what all he's growing just a quick small video of that okay so these are the beds that he has made right you can see one set of beds here garden beds here another set of garden beds there uh, this is a time of transition uh, I was talking about the same thing with Claude the video uh, will be uploaded soon so lots of lots of things have been uh, planted lots of things growing and lots of space is empty because the new crop needs to be put in so straight away they are growing bamboo okay bamboo they are growing sugarcane lovely uh, brinjals out there then they are growing uh, these onions they are growing uh, coriander the coriander is going to seed this is uh, <laughs> this is palak right this seems to be a different variety of palak not too sure right there is mint which is growing there and uh, yep again palak out there this is being maintained by uh, wholly and solely by his uh, father-in-law who's uh, which is quite commendable the amount of produce that he's able to get this is again this is beetroot lovely beetroots he says he doesn't spray anything the water that you see is uh, that there was a slight uh, drizzle today so that's about it they have some methi and uh, a few colocasia out there right now I'm not sure but he was telling me that what they have done is that all the leaves that they get from the trees that they have right he makes sure that they are all put in uh, for a slow compost pile and they they purify some of the water that they get and they leave it into that and after some point of time uh, they get a bit of uh, mud also and put it into that so that's how they are they are trying to uh, build the fertility not uh, lose that one of the things that i was just suggesting was uh, try to keep things covered as much as possible don't leave it bare because uh, uh, in permaculture we are thinking of so many things uh, one of the things being the age of the person who's doing gardening and can there be an easier way in which he can uh, still produce so i was just just telling him a few things as to uh, doing things without really uh, stretching himself and still getting a very good yield because anyways he's he's doing it completely organically and uh, yeah <laughs> so uh, doing it completely organically and and uh, not using any sprays whatsoever I just had a, um, a strawberry so he's been growing strawberry I haven't shown you some of the beautiful parts I'm just showing you the edible parts but this is the beautiful patch just imagine sitting here every day having a sip of uh, tea or, a, or maybe a glass full of tea and coffee so extremely beautiful extremely beautiful right now this is a lemon plant <laughs> and we were just having a discussion with him and he was saying that I got uh, he was saying that he got lemon in in quintals so that is the kind of uh, lemon produce that he's getting right so making very good uh, use of uh, this place usually you would be seeing sprawling lawns that's what you associate with uh, with Delhi and with Faridabad where, where people are just having lawns and lawns no that's not what he was doing he he was consciously trying to grow things right one more small thing that he could have done is probably try a bit more of uh, interplanting so probably having flowers gr growing along with uh, uh, the edible stuff that is uh, growing there so that would have been really nice 
So this is uh, mandara. That's what we call it in Telugu. Hibiscus growing really well. So this, all these flowers are attracting beneficial things. That much I can see. So here are a few more plants. Lychee. This is a lychee plant. Guys, can you believe it? He's huh? Tree. Yeah, lychee tree. Uh, he's growing lychee in in Faridabad. He just. <laughs> All that is uh, the flowers, and it's going to become fruit. Ah, uh, maybe a bit difficult to see it in this. ये 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 कितना पुराना है? ये कितने? Six seven years. Yeah. Ah, uh, Guru Raj Desai. This is a six seven years old uh, old uh, lemon plant, right? And so what he said was that he he found that people were growing lychees in Chandigarh. So he thought that why can't I grow it uh, here? And he started uh, growing it here, and he is successful. As he was saying, one of his intentions was to grow things uh, so that uh, uh, was to grow fruit this, trees. This is kino. This is kino. So this is. Kino, na? Santra ki tarah hai. Ha. So this is a citrus fruit uh, by the name Kino, K-I-N-O, and uh, yeah, and. Uh, and this is orange. Ha <laughs> Guys, this is my favorite, favoriteest, mostest uh, uh, fruit. The the tree of that. <laughs> and this is cranberry Come right on. karonda that is a uh, carissa carendus so so this is a this is a small peach? space peach peach trees <laughs> uh. so this is a empty piece of uh, place probably the only uh, thing that has a semblance towards a uh, garden but uh this is more of a play area for the kid that they have uh kids who come here so <laughs> then they have a bale tree there right and uh going forward just uh it's it's getting a bit dark at least in front of my camera that's the bale tree oh guava this is guava right amrut We have amrud out here, and just just look at it. He has put, yeah, he has he has put poppies all around that. So not not really, uh, not really looking at just the tree, but also putting in beautiful stuff out there. And this is a banana plant. So beautiful, extremely beautiful, and mind you, uh, the temperatures are getting hot even out here in Delhi, and It's still these, yeah. The, and still the, the 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 flower plants are are in full bloom really doing well right mango <laughs> yeah and this of course is is the mango tree so so many fruit trees so many plants and uh, we talk about how everything should be integrated this is the doorway this is the gate the car can park here inside and you have grape going on the and trellis ha huh, and they have yeah and they have the, they have that huge mulberry tree if you can see that huge right so bananas right so you can see that this is going to give them a real good uh, shade so lots of people ask me are there good examples of uh, backyard gardening this is a, this is a pretty good example of uh, what all can be grown so many fruit trees so many fruit trees so much of edible stuff so much of aesthetically beautiful stuff and just just look at this just look at all these marigolds along with that papaya so he is making sure that edibles and inedibles are are seamlessly being grown together and really getting a very good yield uh, i i didn't and as i just just finish this video let me just show you the the grand finale so i was telling you that uh, i had uh, the luxury and the privilege of eating strawberries so he's just growing these strawberries and just for the heck of it so that uh, people can see what all can be grown and uh, 
trying to have some nice desserts for the kids uh, in the house. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, uh, it was a, it was a, it was a nice surprise meeting my friend after 12 years, and it's uh, even more surprise uh, to see such a beautiful place uh, being developed. Uh, this is this is in Faridabad, uh, pretty close to Delhi, and a beautiful place. Which, uh, if you have a chance, you should go and uh, see just just to get the inspiration. Thanks for watching.